Hello, in this episode of SES Airsoft, we're playing a classic known as Vampire. In Vampire, every player starts on their own in a free-for-all fashion. As you shoot the other players, you tag them to form teams. In the end, you win by having the most players on your team. This creates some pretty interesting encounters though, because any firefight can lead to an ambush. Here it looks like someone followed my tracks from the open field. Finding this guy here was a great opportunity. Tagging someone like this onto my team is great for a player who specializes in recon as it adds some more firepower. Now I just have to quickly but carefully tag him in. Awesome. Now that we have two on our team, we can focus on some of the larger teams as we track them down. We push up to some of the old farm buildings where we heard some firefights going on earlier. It seems pretty quiet now, so either they retreated in the woods or they chased someone further in. Either way, we need to get closer before we can find out what happened. An enemy patrol passes within about 20 feet from where I'm stationed. I try to stay low as there is a lot of brush cover and let them pass. In the meantime, Ryan, my other team member, sets up a little further to the right so he gets a vantage point on the buildings. Looks like they've gone in the center of the building so I can get up and retarget without being spotted easily. I see four team members so this must be one of the larger groups. There's quite a bit of distance between us but at least I can try to take off a few. The hardest thing with large teams is they can easily tag each other back in so the best bet is to either separate them or take them out at once. My favorite is causing chaos and splitting the group, that way I can get them in unretrievable locations. Now one is out in front, two are to the left, and one is on the right. I miss stopping this revive, but in the end it works to my advantage. The guy tagged in charges into an unretrievable area where he is taken out. I can easily cover him here and watch his teammates on the left. I'll leave the guys on the right to Ryan. I get a little aggressive with my maneuvers and my GoPro falls off, but don't worry, I'll get it soon after I take out some of these players. You can see their sniper with a ghillie for a split second here. In this case, the brush worked against me because I couldn't get a clean shot on it. I fire a few shots in the brush to get that gilly guy to retreat towards the town. The brush limits him as well, so now I can focus on the guys trying to flank right. I can't see the second guy, but thankfully my teammate was ready to take him out. That team actually had five members, so I need to readjust to take out the remaining two. But first, let's grab that GoPro. I spot the ghillie, but I have to fire a few shots to be sure I take him out. Yeah, 
now all that's left is to tag in the hit players as we move forward and get the last member of their team. This is rough. This is going to be rough. I'll get to you eventually, Forbes. You're in a really bad spot. Do what? Oh yeah. Is AJ on your team? Yeah. Oh boy. Huh? Yeah. I shot you. I shot everyone. Ryan shot oh, Ryan's you. Over there, guys. Yeah. Okay. All right, AJ's still in somewhere, guys. Now with all these guys tagged in, that puts our team count at seven. Can you let Bees know if he gets lit up. AJ's the only one left. We gotta find out where he's at. There is one guy left that's not on our team, but the game All time right. is. With the largest number of players, that secures us the victory.